Time Warner Cable CEO Glenn Britt has offered to end a four-day blackout of CBS stations in three major cities, saying the cable operator would allow CBS to sell its station signal a la carte to consumers instead of bundling it in with other channels. Whether CBS goes for it, the offer underscores the tensions of how to pay for content in an industry that's undergoing profound change. Good morning, we have Miriam Gottfried here to tell us a little bit about what is going on here. Um, so, first of all, this, this new offer, um, quite different from the way that, that people would normally receive uh, CBS and yes, customers and would have to pay for it individually. There's pretty much no way that CBS is going to accept <laughs> this offer. Say. Bundling is an essential element of how media companies sell their content to pay TV. And what that means is, if you're gonna get one of our channels, you have to get all of our channels. So for CBS, that would mean not only the CBS broadcast network, but also Showtime and their cable channels. They want all of that together in one package, which is how they sell and get you know the most money for, for their channels. So have CBS already responded to this? Uh, I believe they issued a statement saying that it was, you know, not a real offer or something to that effect. Um, they, I don't think they've responded directly to, to this proposal, but um, I don't think it's really advanced the talks much. And Toddy called it a sham, so it doesn't sound like <laughs> yeah. it's going very far no. forward. So um, just tell us a little bit though, because your, your column today you know, looks at how within uh, yes. cable TV, TV operators, well, it's not just this battle. There's, there's, there's Liberty Media, others who are struggling to try to find ways to recoup money from uh, or the other way around, in yeah. fact, to reduce their costs. So, ba the yeah, basically, um, programming costs are skyrocketing for mm -hmm. pay TV providers, and one of the biggest drivers of that is retransmission fees, which is which are the fees that um, pay TV companies have to pay broad broadcast networks to carry their signal. And these are, you know, the free-to-air broadcasters like CBS, Fox, uh, ABC, NBC. Um, so those, those fees are skyrocketing. Um, sports costs are also driving content costs up a lot, um, but those are very valuable piece, pieces of content as well. So there's, there's this pressure on pay TV providers to, to deal with those costs, to manage those costs so that it doesn't hurt their margins because they can't just raise prices for consumers when growth is already so slow in mm -hmm. that industry. Um, and already people have been starting to quit and go over the top and watch video online. Right, but but you know cost pressures uh, aren't sort of marginal and meaningless for uh, the the networks either, right? So they themselves are trying to find ways to recoup that's, those costs. That's right. That's yeah. right. So um, one thing that's been happening is consolidation has consolidation talk has sort of been heating up, and John Malone, who's the chairman of Liberty Media Corp, has been trying to basically instigate that through his stake in, char in charter communications. Um, he's, he wants to uh, spearhead um, mergers of cable companies, so thinking that with greater scale they could overcome the cost pressures. Mm -hmm. um, the question is how much would that really do? You really need to get some major scale in order to go to the content companies and say, look, you're going to have to charge us less. And, and does that sort of, you know, are there any regulatory issues in terms of that? I mean, concentration of that there industry could would seem be. to be There could be. I mean, it depends on who's pairing up. Um, mm -hmm. You know, ch Charter and Time Warner Cable, which was one of the early proposals from John Malone, um, would definitely help Charter by lessening its content costs because it would get to pay the rates that Time Warner Cable, a bigger company, mm -hmm. is paying. But um, it would still be the number three player, I believe, and that wouldn't quite get it the heft that you would need, um, you know, to get to, say, Comcast size or um, even, you know, if DirecTV and Dish merged, for example, they would right. be huge. Right, right. Um, that could actually ha have some meaning in terms of content safety. Well, it looks like there's still lots to come in this Yes, area. that's right. right. Thank you very much for your time.